here's the same problem we just had. Uh, we've got our converging lens here. We've got our image that was formed out of our object way over here. We know our object distance is 25. We know our focal length is 10. So we're going to, in this video, numerically figure out the properties of this image. So here's our image distance right there. So we can use our usual um, equation involving image distances, object distances, and focal lengths. Here it is, 1 over DO, 1 over DO, plus 1 over DI equals 1 over F. Okay, so we're going to rearrange this a little bit so we can have 1 over DI that's isolated. 1 over DI equals 1 over F minus 1 over DO. Plug in some numbers for F and DO. We have 1 over 10 minus 1 over 25. Okay, now we have uncommon denominators here, so we can just kind of change that into common denominators. Put a little arrow here so you know where I'm going. So, we're going to take 1 tenth and change that into 5 over 50, and then we're going to take 1 over 25 and make that 2 over 50. And that is pretty easy to do. We've got 3 over 50. We have to remember that 3 over 50 is equal to 1 over di, so that means that di is going to be 50 divided by 3, and that turns out to be about 16.7 centimeters. If we look at our diagram, it looks like this thing is probably right at about 16 or so. Um, so not perfect, but um, our diagram should at least come pretty close to what we calculate. Um, knowing that our focal length is 10, twice the focal length is 20, this looks like it would be about the right spot. Okay, our last thing to figure out about this thing is the magnification. And of course magnification is equal to negative 1 over di, or sorry, negative di over do. And those are pretty easy to do at this point. We've got our di of 16.7. 16.7. Don't forget your negative sign. And our DO is 25. And you throw that into a calculator. Whoops. There we go. You will get about 0 0.67 negative 0 0.67. Okay, so that's our magnification. Let's take a look at what that means. It's less than 1, which means that our object, or our, our image, has been reduced. Uh, it's got a negative sign on it, which means that our image is inverted. So we've got reduced, inverted, and also we can look at our object, our image, and we can see that our rays of light actually do converge at that spot, and so this image is considered a real image. If we wanted to, we could project this image onto a screen.